Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do my makeup routine, my daily makeup routine. I'm not a professional, a little disclaimer. This is just the way that I apply my makeup every day that I think looks nice on me. And I've learned tips and tricks along the way since I've been putting on makeup since I was a teenager for, you know, a decade. Uh, anyways, let's get started. So first what I'm going to do is put on a headband just to kind of keep my hair from uh, getting in the way. Then uh, what I did to prep was I washed my hands, washed my face, um, put on a little sunscreen. Um, then next what I'm gonna do is put on a little chapstick. That way when I put on my lipstick at the end, my lips are super moist and plump because the chapstick has had time to absorb. Next I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay setting spray and I'm going to just lightly mist it all over my face and let it dry. Uh, the reason that I use the Urban Decay setting spray is because I have really oily, acne prone skin. So um, it was a kind of tip that I learned when my sister got married. Uh, he applied it before and after she, he put on her makeup and it really helped absorb like the oil or just keep it from getting really oily because before we had to use um, or I had to use blotting papers and I'd have to use it like every 30 minutes or so to kind of come but to combat the oil with this really helps I guess keep it at bay. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It's not an actual primer really it's just a moisturizer but I like it I feel like it kind of helps keep my skin moisturized. So just rub it in the hands and then just apply it all over the face. That. And then I'm going to take Glossier Skin Perfecting Skin Tint. Oh, it's just Perfecting Skin Tint, my bad. Um, and I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. Mine's running a little low. Uh, then I open it and I'm going to apply it directly to my face. So I'm just going to use random swirling motions. There we go, just like that. That looks good enough. And oh, look, the garbage is here. So I'm going to just lightly blot it onto my skin with a beauty blender. No, this isn't a beauty blender. This is a Real Techniques blending sponge. A little more affordable than a beauty blender. Um, and it comes in a two pack. Uh, I just like it. it. Does a job. I used to use a beauty blender, but I made the switch when my cousin gave me one of her Real Techniques blending sponges that came in a pack and I really liked it. I feel like it, um, it's a little more dense for fuller coverage makeup, even though this glossy skin tint is not full coverage. I feel like it just evens up my skin tone. So, yeah, that's that nicely blended. Next one I'm gonna go in is with Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer, and I use medium. Also for this one, I used medium if you were curious. And you're gonna go in with your finger, that's why you use clean fingers when you first start uh, because you're gonna apply it directly to your skin. So you just put under the eyes. Um, if I keep on looking up in that direction is because there's a mirror right behind here. It's a little easier than looking on the phone because I'm filming on an iPhone, don't have any editing equipment, editing equipment and I'm just trying to do this in one swoop. Ooh, a little bit nervous filming a video. You watch them all the time on YouTube and you think, oh, I can do that, but it's a little nerve wracking. Just having all this being filmed. So I think that looks good enough. Um, I really like this concealer. Then I'm gonna go back in with the blending sponge and just blend it all in. Uh, the reason that I like this concealer is because it's a stretch concealer. So before I used to use um, concealers that wouldn't stretch, uh, meaning that towards it would look really great 
uh, right after I put on my makeup and maybe 30 minutes after, but then after like two hours, my whatever blemishes that I had that I was like specifically trying to cover, it would, um, the skin would like stretch and it would crack the concealer and I would have like random dry spots wherever I was trying to cover up the blemish and the stretch concealer really helps to kind of keep it from, well, splitting open the concealer. Um, sometimes if I have really a lot of really bad acne, I'll go in with a more pigmented concealer um, just to do this. This glossy is kind of really meant for people with really nice skin and minor blemishes and I have really acne prone skin. Luckily right now my skin's doing pretty well. I don't have that much acne. I guess it's because I'm trying not to stress out as much. So next what I'm going to use is this Vichy Derma Finish in Opal. Um, I kind of see have a little like darker pigmented blemishes right there and some right here so I'm just going to use it to cover that up. So I'm just gonna, this is like an old bottle, so I'm really just gonna squeeze out from the top this and I'm going to apply it with my fingers wherever I feel I need a little extra coverage. And I just apply with one finger and then I blend with the other. So this looks like it needs a little extra coverage, maybe right here on the cheek, here. Then just blend the clean finger and right here needs a little more I feel I'm not trying to get perfect I mean in the end I'm also going to go in with the uh, Bare Minerals um, powder foundation and that's a little extra coverage as well um, but I really use it because I feel like it controls my oil uh, it helps with oil control I mean and I like it. If you apply it correctly, it doesn't really seem like you're having that much on or cakey. So, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, that looks good. So, next what I'm going to do is wash my hands, but for the sake of time, and since I'm trying to do this video in one swoop, I'm taking a wipey and just kind of rinsing off my fingers because everything else that I apply is just going to be with brushes. It's just I don't want to get my brushes dirty. Um, so, next what I'm going to go in with is Bare Minerals. I use Original and it's in the Tone Medium Beige. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to open this little thingy which is really helpful because it helps from overspilling. They're very smart. So I'm just going to apply very little, literally very little. And I'm going to go in with a sort of like face brush. This is a Real Techniques Expert face brush. You can't read that either. So I'm going to go in here and you're going to swirl it in and then what you're going to do is you're going to lightly tap um, all over your skin and with the bare minerals if you feel like you need extra coverage what you're going to do is you're going to slowly build up you're not going to go in with a lot and then go in because then it's going to start looking really cakey just with a little tip that i picked up is with what makeup you would to keep it as natural looking as possible you will slowly build up but just in kind of dabbing motions you can be as aggressive um, or as light-handed as you want. I just have really, I don't know, I feel like I'm really aggressive in a lot of things. So if you want to go down to the neck, you can do that too. doesn't really, I mean, it's the same color as my skin, so it doesn't really do much. Um, but yeah, so that looks nicely covered enough. Hopefully it'll help with the oil control. So then you make sure to close this little thingy and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, which is just like a setting powder. There's a lot of setting in here, like setting spray, setting powder. So you're gonna put very little in. Mine had already spilt, so um, that's a little too much, but whatever. Uh, you're gonna take a fluffy brush, um, any fluffy brush that you have, and just swirl it in, and then just lightly tap where you get most oily um, or just anywhere around there we go that looks nice then I'm going to use blush I'm going to use my bare minerals the secrets out blush you can 
tell a trend I really like many things of the same brand um, this is what it looks like um, so I'm gonna go in with another fluffy brush I think it's a this is a face brush but you know you can use a blush brush I just use whatever I have so you put it on um, the reason I have so many bare minerals things is that the sales lady was really good I just went in to buy the powder foundation when she convinced me to buy the mineral veil and the blush so great sales lady there but in reality I did need a new blush and I really do like what I'm using um, before I used to use NARS blush uh, but it had a little too much shimmer in it this one is a little more matte so um, yeah that looks good enough if you feel like you put too much on you can go back with the fluffy brush that you put the mineral veil on and just kind of blend it in okay um next i'm gonna go in with my brows i use this it cosmetic skinny brow pencil and dark brown universal dark brown so just open it i don't have any real technique to this i just apply to kind of give my brows a little definition i'm not filling in any spare spot so I just like it to look a little more defined my brows are a little unruly but I kind of like it that way so then I'm gonna go in with a spoolie there's a spoolie here but it's kind of really sensitive and it breaks easily so I have this spoolie from um, mascara an old mascara that I had and I just washed the wand like many many times until I got rid of the mascara and works pretty well so yeah looks good enough next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with the eyes so I have really uh, I don't know if you can see lashes that go straight down and I've had a problem with keeping them up but I have tricks that I have now that I use to keep it up so what I do is I curl then I put on my eyelashes, I la what is that called? Eyeshadow, oh my gosh, brain fart. I put on my eyeshadow, then I curl them again, and I go in with the liner and mascara, and that kind of keeps it curled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl my lashes, curl here, go in the middle, and go to the ends, let's see. Well, looks okay. Um, then I'll do this side. Curl on the ends. Curl in the middle. And then curl all the way to the root of the lashes. Okay. I'm just going to curl a little bit more. I get a little I'm really traumatized with having nicely curled lashes. I'm always envious of girls that have like you know curled lashes naturally curled lashes but you know we always want what we can't have so next for eyeshadow what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this laura mercier caviar stick in rose gold it's just like a stick eyeshadow so um yeah it's kind of broken so just twist it up and I'm just going to apply directly to the eye in no particular technique. Just, it looks kind of nice just like that, see? Um, but I go in with, uh, kind of use it as a primer and I go in with, hold on, come here. A shadow palette, this is the Becca Ombre Rouge palette. So I go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and I use number two here. Like on the packaging, it's actually called number two. So number two, and I lightly pat onto the lid of my eye with this as with the rest of the makeup, you slowly build up because this is really pigmented. I don't have any actual skill when it comes to eyeshadow. I just kind of lazily use what I've done. So next I'm going to go with number three, dot it in. I have this, it looks kind of weird, but it's actually like the plastic it comes in with. I just use it to like dab in any excess eyeshadow. So people think I'm weird, but I don't know. I don't like dabbing eyeshadow onto 
my forearm and then I don't like wasting the Kleenex just on that. Uh, so you just blend in here to the socket of the eye and um, to soften the look I sometimes go with number one and just really uh, put it there. If you have a fluffy brush you can just blend it like a clean fluffy brush you can just blend it in. That looks nice. Um, I don't really use these two other colors unless I'm going out. I know it's kind of like a waste but I do sometimes use them. I just have to go get a YouTube tutorial to teach me how to put it on like nicely. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my eyeliner. This is a pixie eyeliner in bronze beam. So just gonna sharpen it a little bit. And I'm gonna curl my ash one more time before I put on my mascara. So curl this lashes. And curl this lash, this, these lashes. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my eyeliner. So just to stretch the skin a little bit and apply the liner. I try not to put too much in. And if you feel like you put too much on, you can always go back with a brush that's like this and kind of just blend it in a little bit. There we go, that looks nice. Then I'm gonna go in with this Sansusi mascara. It's waterproof. Uh, it's a mascara from Mexico. It's the only mascara that I have ever found that keeps my lashes curled all day long. Um, I found out about this mascara when I was 19. I was working at a doctor's office and I was complaining to one of my coworkers about how I can never get my lashes to stay up. Um, and it was really annoying. And then she said, oh, uh, you're going to Mexico, you should buy this mascara and waterproof. It works really great. You just have to make sure it's waterproof. And uh, I bought the mascara and I've never looked back. <laughs> every time I go, I, um, every time I go to Mexico, I buy a whole bunch of these and I bring them back to my friends and family because that's how much I like this mascara. Um, let's see. There we go. Then we're gonna do the same with the other side. Curl the lashes. Um, that looks good. Great. Uh, put on the eyeliner. And... I don't have any real technique to putting this on. Just kind of like a strategy. Well, I do have a technique, I just don't have a skill. Maybe that's the better word, skills. But, you know, I have a skill that works for me, so. Makes me feel a little more confident. Um, then I'm gonna go in with the mascara again. And put it on this time. Sometimes I put the mascara on a little too roughly and I get bits of mascara on my eyeshadow but luckily my eyeshadow you know it doesn't make a difference if you kind of try and wipe it off in the middle so there we go we'll apply one more coat to the other side here Sorry. I'll use this camera as a little thing yeah that looks good enough. See? Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a nude lipstick. Um, today I'm gonna use Jennifer's Nude. It's like a L'Oreal Paris. It's like their exclusive signature one. I also like one called Julianne's Nude, but it's in my purse. I don't feel like hitting it. So I'm just gonna put on my lipstick. Uh, I don't have, I'm not trying to be real precise because it's a nude lipstick, so you can't really tell if it looks good or not so there's a new lipstick then i'm going to go in one last time with the setting spray oh, a little too much wait for it to dry we'll take my hair down a little bit to fix my hair for this morning but just pass by with the straightener there you go this is the finished look 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. And if you recreate the look, uh, send me a pic. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.